All right, now I'd like to get some content into my project, uh, which means I'm gonna have to navigate the browser. And uh, we have a couple different options for how we go about doing that. We mentioned the browser panel on the right side of the screen. And in the browser panel, I can access all the content that comes with Bitwig, uh, any third party devices. Uh, as you can see at the top here, it says everything. And here I can narrow down everything to specific locations, specific devices, device categories, types of files, tags, who it's been created by, uh, and I can easily search as well. Above this, I can also see that there's different links here, uh, different icons that'll take me to specific narrow down categories. I can even get to the file browser if I wanna find something that doesn't neatly fit into these categories. And to the left of that, this shows me all the possible sources. Now this is important because we're gonna talk about the pop-up browser, uh, which is more context sensitive. You can create your own collections, which will be really useful if you want to group favorites by specific uh, criteria, all right? Uh, and you can also uh, add quick sources to the quick source menu, which we're gonna see in the pop-up browser, okay? So because of that, I'm not gonna use the browser panel for this, mainly because I personally use the pop-up browser a lot. But ultimately for your workflow, choose what's gonna fit uh, how you operate best, all right? I like to put this away because I get more screen real estate. That's the main reason. All right, I have an instrument track. This track is armed. Uh, this is here because this is just part of the default project. If you don't have an instrument track, you can easily add one from the add menu. Hit a plus button, which will bring up the pop-up browser, add an instrument track, and take you to the instrument category. Or in my case, since I have a track here, I'm gonna go down to the device panel. Since the device panel is visible, there's a plus button, and this is gonna take me to the pop-up browser where it'll take me to the appropriate category, which is all instruments. Okay, cool. Now, once I'm here, uh, I can see the instruments from Bitwig. If I keep scrolling down, I can also see third-party plugins that I have installed. Uh, there's a lot of different options here. Let's say maybe it's my first time using a program and I don't know the Bitwig native devices that well, but I just wanna hear some sounds, all right? The device category that it's taking me to is gonna show me presets. So let's go ahead and maybe I wanna look for a, what do I do, a mono synth. All right. So now all of these are mono synths here, and let's go ahead and choose this one. Now, if you notice, this particular synth has a star next to it uh, because I put this in my favorites before. And if I scroll to the right here, we have a nice little description. And if I scroll down, we have this area where it says collections, all right? This has been favorited because I hit this star, and now it's in my favorites, all right? If I ever wanna just navigate to my favorites, I can go to the pop-up browser and click here, and those are my favorites, all right? But another nice thing that I can do is I can also create smart collections, all right? And I think I might wanna do that. But before I do, I haven't loaded this yet. I've just selected it. We can see it says live preview. So since my track is armed, I can preview this before, before I load it. That's a pretty cool sound. And I think that would be a worthy uh, sound to start a collection with. So not only am I gonna favorite it, I wanna make sure that it's gonna be in a specific uh, collection for other nice bubbly synths. In fact, I think that's a cool name. So I'm gonna hit the plus button here and I'm gonna create a collection. Uh, bubbly, let's make it like a aquamarine sort of color. Sure, okay, and I'm gonna call this bubbly synths. Nice, okay, hit okay. All right, so now when I look to the left, I see suddenly there's a new uh, quick source here and it says bubbly synths, all right? And anything that's in that category uh, is gonna be added. Where's my bubbly synth though? The reason I don't see it is because if I go back to where I was here, I created that collection, but I haven't added the sound to it, all right? So when this is selected, now I can click here and now that's been added to my bubbly synth collection and boop, there it goes, all right? And as I said before, if I go here where it says everything, my collections that I create are listed here and I can easily drag them down here. Obviously this is already there, so I can't. Um, and I can remove those sources if I want to by right clicking and just deleting the collection. Cool. A Couple other quick things to go over because I don't want to uh, spend too long on the browser, but there's been a lot of updates. Uh, in addition to the smart collections, uh, I can also, let's say, let's go back here. And maybe instead I wanna look for some drums, all right? Uh, let's go to, under all instruments, I wanna specifically look for drum presets, all right? 
drum kit, and here's some drum kit presets. Maybe this is an area that I wanna look in, and every time that I load an instrument track, I wanna look for drums, all right? If that's the case, I could also right click, if I right click over here, all right? Uh, we have, in the browser settings, at the very bottom here, I have the option to use the current selection for this context, empty instrument track. There are numerous different contexts now for the browser. And if you right click on the pop-up browser, let's say when you are looking for a sample uh, within the sampler instrument or something like that, you could save the context so every time you open the browser in that context, it'll go to that location, all right? This is pretty cool, uh, and if you have a lot of specific areas that you constantly go to, especially if you work with clients, that can be really useful, all right? I'm not gonna set that up now though because uh, I look too many different places all the time. Uh, one more other thing I wanna point out before I leave here. Uh, if I right click again, going back to my browser settings, uh, there's a default setting to suggest available packages. I've disabled this because I don't like things that feel like ads popping up in my browser. And another big feature is this save snapshot option. All right. Now, if I save a snapshot, what it's going to do is take a snapshot of the current browser settings, uh, and then it'll make it easy for me to jump to that next time. So instead of making it so that every time I open up an instrument track, it's going to show me drum presets, I'll just save a snapshot of this. And let's call this uh, drum presets. Okay, cool. Now let's say I've left this location and I'm looking at different stuff and it's like, you know what? I really want to get back to the drum presets. Now I could simply just right click and there's drum presets. Boom. So you could set up multiple snapshots, uh, make it really, really easy to bounce around uh, and get exactly what you need at the given time. So spend some time with the browser and uh, it'll make it a lot easier to make your workflow feel much more efficient.